Linda has previously had a rhinoplasty. Uh, how many years ago was it, Linda? Yeah, 20 About years 20 ago. years ago. And basically what we're trying to do is uh, do a procedure which looks natural. Uh, it is no compliment to me or the patient when the patient looks like they've had surgery. We want to make it look like it hasn't been done and it's in balance with other facial features. Basically, uh, initially Linda had a large dorsal hump which was removed. Uh, she also had inadequate nasal tip projection which was uh, treated with a cartilage graft. The bump was removed with um, uh, lowering the bridge with, uh, of cartilage and bone, and we also narrowed the side walls of the nose. It's very important to not impair the nasal breathing, clearly, uh, since form and function go hand in hand, and we want to maintain uh, the airway as much as possible, and oftentimes this airway is improved. We're interested in the relationship of the columella with the ala, we're interested in nasal tip projection. We're interested in the radix, which is this portion of the nose, in relationship to the nasal tip, and uh, in also the middle nasal vault. If the patient has any airway difficulty at all, it's often presented by difficulty with valve collapse, either in the middle area or in the lower external portion of the nose. But, uh, Linda's face is in balance. Uh, she has good tip projection, she has a straight profile line, line and the Kaimela-Ala relationship is very good.